you know, tonight was about the perfect example of Aaron Rodgers getting screwed that I can remember in a while. Aaron Rodgers, to me, in this game, based on the eye test, outplayed Tom Brady for the majority of the game. And he had the ball. He was leading his team on a great drive into New England territory. The Packers had the game tied, and it was the very beginning of the fourth quarter. He just threw two absolute darts to Marquez Valdez-Scantling. They were beautiful passes, some of the best I've seen all season from Rodgers, and some of the best catches I've seen all season by any Green Bay Packer receiver. The first play of the fourth quarter, they hand the ball to Aaron Jones. He fumbles. The Patriots recover. They march right down the field, score a touchdown. Next drive on third down and six, Aaron Rodgers gets sacked, and the Packers are forced to punt. Then the very next drive, the New England Patriots take advantage. Tom Brady does a simple head fake, looks to a screen that the Packers, for some reason, the two rookies bit on it like so hard. I don't think I've ever seen anybody bite on a screen that hard in my life. Brady makes the easiest throw of his entire career to Josh Gordon, and it's 31-17 just like that. And somehow, some way, Aaron Rodgers is going to be blamed for this game, and I'm going to be I'm going to be on the verge of vomiting because of it because people are so so stupid. The Packers once again play a pretty good game for the majority of it and then at the end they just shoot themselves in the foot. I see that we've seen it so often this season. We saw it last week against the Rams. It happened again this week. The Packers had all the momentum in the world. They had the ball inside New England territory. They had the game tied. There was a 7-point deficit at half. Aaron Rodgers threw a touchdown to Jimmy Graham, a beautiful throw and catch to tie the game early in the third quarter. The Packers have a great drive going to end the third quarter. It just gets just thrown up all over on because Aaron Jones had to fumble the football. And then, of course, the Patriots run the ball right down the Packers' throats. They're able to get inside Packers' territory. And it was there was that play by Julian Edelman. I mean, Jesus Christ, I don't think I've ever seen the defense bite so hard on a, on a, such an obvious screenplay. I mean, Jesus, the entire, like half the Patriots' team was on the other side of the football. They faked it to the one side of the Packers. Everybody went over there. But, of course, half the Patriots' team was on the other side of the football. And nobody on the Packers even realizes this for some reason. Complete and utter breakdown. Unbelievable. I am so, so livid about that. This Packers defense every week seems to be like, oh, they're almost there. Oh, man. And in fact, this Packers team as a whole, every week it's like, they're oh, they're so close. They're almost there. Oh, man, you can just smell it. And every time they just come up short, they, they kick kick the shit out of it at the end of the game and they end up losing and they have a three and four record because of it three four and one record this is probably the best three four and one record team in nfl history without a doubt this is the best three four and one team ever i've ever seen but of course every week they just find a way to not finish they always do it and it's it's driving me insane to me aaron Rodgers. To me, Aaron Rodgers outplayed Tom Brady in this game. I mean, you can look at the stats. Tom Brady was, I believe, 22 of 35 for 200 and, uh, 294 yards and a touchdown. Aaron Rodgers was 24 of 43 for 259 and two touchdowns. Brady had 10-point higher passer rating. But really, Aaron Rodgers on the run made so many plays in this game. He kept the Packers in it. He kept the score pretty even for the most part and then he had a great drive going at the end of the third quarter and he had two of the best throws I've seen him make all season one to Marquez Valdez-Scantling or both to Marquez Valdez-Scantling I should say and then of course in the most typical Green Bay fashion you're playing a game on the road you have your team on the ropes and then they just completely blow it in the fourth quarter and on the first play of the fourth quarter to be I mean I mean like as soon as Aaron Jones fumbled that football in the Patriots it covers I, I knew the Patriots were going to win the game I absolutely knew it and I mean, oh my God, it's just, it's, it's sickening to watch this every week because the Packers, like I said, they're so close. They're so close every single freaking week and they just come up short every time. Like, I mean, you had to win one of these two football games, in my opinion. You had to win one of these two. I think the Packers are going to win at Miami at home. They should be able to win that game. Uh, of course, I'll bet you the Packers make it close in typical Packers fashion, but then they have to go on the road to Seattle, who hasn't really been playing that uh, bad of football as of late. People think Seattle is kind of a past its prime team, but Seattle has a winning record right now, and they're actually playing not that bad. you got to go on the road on a short week on a Thursday night football game on the road in a, in a place that has given you fits in the entire time. Uh, CenturyLink Field, of course, House of Horrors for the Packers there. Uh, and then you have you have to go on the road again to face the Minnesota Vikings in in Minnesota. Like, 
I, I don't see a path at this point. The Packers had to win one of these two games. Of course, after that, the schedule lightens up a bit, but if you don't win at least two of the next three, like, that puts you, let's see, that puts you at five and five and one. If you don't win two of the next three, it's going to be ugly. It really is. You have to win two of the next three. And you're going to have to win one of the two games on the road against Seattle and Minnesota. You're going to have to win one of those games, and that is not going to be easy by any measure. Oh, my God. The Packers were so close to winning one of these two games. So close. And now you got to go. I, I, they should beat Miami. If they don't, then their season is pretty much over, unless they have an absolute miracle occur. But if, if they can't beat Miami, the season is over. But it, right now, I mean, like, one one loss to me. Like, one loss in these next three games, and it, it just feels... Well, okay, you have to win two of three, obviously. I don't think the season is over unless... And if you can win two of three, the season isn't over. But... Going on the road to face Seattle and then Minnesota, it's hard to it's hard for me to envision them winning either of those games. It really is, and they are a team that's playing on the brink. It re they are a team that's playing just kind of just barely close. They're so close, but man, it, it's 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 really sad that this team just can't put it together. I mean, they played. They played some really, really good halves of football. They played some really, really bad halves of football. They've had some games really look like, man, this Packers team, or not games, I should say. They really haven't played a full uh, four-quarter game in the entire season where they have played well from start to finish, and that's the problem. They're just so inconsistent, and tonight they should have won this football game. If Aaron Jones doesn't fumble that ball, the Packers win this game. I guarantee you. I guarantee it. That, that's what hurts about it, because the past two weeks, the games have been decided by two fumbles. That's it. And somehow, some way, the media will make this out to blame Aaron Rodgers. They always do. They always, every single time. I've already seen a million people on social media say Aaron Rodgers just doesn't have what it takes in the big games. Aaron Rodgers played a heck of a football game in this game. He played, he, he missed a few plays. There were a few plays where it's like, come on, Rodgers, you got to be better than that. But, I mean, we've grown accustomed to that, and I mean, every quarterback has plays like that. Uh, Brady had a couple of those too tonight, uh, but I mean, for the most part, Aaron Rodgers, he was stepping up the pocket, escaping the rush, I mean, he was under pressure for the majority of the night, I think I saw a statistic where he's had to, he, he faced pressure on 19 dropbacks tonight, which is, I think, the, the most he's faced, uh, all season long, he only got sacked once, but he is, was under pressure all night, was able to escape the pocket, he made a ton of throws on the run, uh, and, and then there's Tom Brady on their side, like, I mean, a lot of people probably think I hate Tom Brady's guts, but, like, I, I respect what he does. I respect, like, the the intangible portion of his game, and really there isn't anybody better in the game of football than him when it comes to that. But, I mean, Brady had it so easy tonight. I mean, there was a point in time in this game where Brady was one for his last eight, and the guy still, like, I mean, the, the Packers just couldn't do anything during that time period. Like, they that was, like, I think the drive, he got sacked on one drive, and then the Packers came back out. And they, uh, that was the drive where they had a really good drive going, and then Aaron Jones fumbled the football. And then, of course, in typical fashion, like, Brady makes one, like, like he made a good play. He looked off the defenders and made them bite on the screen, and then he threw to a wide-open Josh Gordon. But I've seen so many quarterbacks do things like that to rookies. I mean, and people are going to go crazy over that. Like, I've seen that play a million times by a, a million different quarterbacks. I've seen Aaron Rodgers do it before. It was a great play, but they're going to... They're going to go crazy over that. They really are, and they've already started doing it. Like, I mean, I've seen that play a million times. Of course, just because it's Tom Brady, you got to go crazy over it. But the things Aaron Rodgers did in this game were, was phenomenal. I thought he played, I thought he outplayed Tom Brady for the most part. Uh, of course, the statistics at the end really don't show it because Brady had that a couple plays where he hit, like, some insanely wide-open receivers. But Aaron Rodgers kept his team in the game. Um, unfortunately, he wasn't able to convert on that fourth down. He was pressured almost immediately on that fourth down, and it fell incomplete, which virtually ended the game. Uh, but, yeah, there's, I mean, the Packers, once again, I mean, I feel like I'm saying it every week, but they're, they're that close. They're that close. But they can't finish. They just can't finish football games, and that is what is the, that is the reason why they are not. Uh, let's see, they're they are not five and three and one right now. That's the reason, and yeah, that's or five two and one, I should say. But yeah, Packers lose this one, thirty one seventeen. Um, they got to get ready for Miami. They have to focus on Miami. They have to win that game. If they don't win the game, I I can't see any way they make the postseason. 
I, I still do think... I don't know. I, I don't know at this point. I mean, I've said up to this point that I think the Packers are going to find a way in the playoffs, but I don't know at this point. They have to win one of two on the road against Seattle and Minnesota. I said that they had to win one of two against uh, the Rams and the Patriots. They lost both of them. Um, and, I mean, there's no moral victories in the NFL. You can't look back in a game and say, well, you played good with a really great team. You know, you didn't win the game. I don't care about moral victories. I care about wins and losses, and the Packers lost both of those games. Both games they should have been able to win had they not fumbled at the in the fourth quarter of both. Um, yeah, but that's the way the... That's the way. That's the way it goes in the NFL. So, anyways, guys. Though, so thanks for watching. I mean, it's a pretty tough video to make. Uh, I'm sure I'm probably gonna get plenty of Patriots fans in the comments section uh, calling me a whiner, calling me stupid. You know, but I'm accustomed to it at this point. Softest fan base in the league. They can't take any criticism of their uh, of their uh, their hero Tom Brady. But uh, I mean, Packers just couldn't do enough tonight. And I mean, Tom Brady did take advantage of the mistake, and that's what was ultimately the difference in the game. So. Anyways, guys, so thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys joining me after such a tough game, but uh, we'll be back at it next uh, Sunday against Miami. But until then, leave a like and subscribe, you guys, and thanks for watching. Go Pack Go!